my people. Hope y'all having a good day today. Uh, I wanted to put this quick vlog together today. Uh, Cause I know the season about to come to an end and uh, a lot of people want this stuff looking good for Christmas. So we're going to come in here and we're going to cut back a lot of perennials. Uh, we're going to do a little touch pruning. We're going to do some mulching as well as cut the grass off, of course. Um, just to get it ready for the holidays. Uh, uh, do you all uh, cut your perennials back? Uh, uh, or yeah, I wait for the spring. I like to cut them back in the winter. So that way they can get full bloom in the springtime. Um, let me show you what we got going on here. What's black uh, come around with this llama. Touch prune these. We're gonna to touch prune that one right there. We're gonna to touch prune this one, and we're gonna cut these perennials back. We're just gonna take our pruning shears. Make sure you got sharp blades. Make sure you got your pruning shears, and we're just gonna cut all of these flesh to the ground, and uh, put a nice trench around here, going all the way around, and mulching it in real good. All right. So this is what we got going on today. Hope this will be useful for you. All right, be back to you soon. Check it later. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to leave a comment. Give it a big thumbs up. Help the channel out a little bit. It'd be very much appreciated. Don't forget to tune in to Scared of Heights and Pruner Tips where to give you a step-by-step -step process on how to keep those shrubs freshly manicured. As seen here, make sure those blades are sharp. Make sure you cut it flush to the ground to ensure even cut. Sometimes you may have to hold it at an angle to ensure that even cut. Now I know some people like to use pruning shears, and I know certain people like to take their time and use the hand shears. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys like to use to make it more effective for you. I'm always down for some new tricks of the trick. All right, now that we didn't cut everything back, we didn't did some trenching. Let me show you. All right, we didn't cut everything back. And then we didn't trench out all the beds. See, you got about a good three inch trench there, all the way around. All the way around. Now we're about to go ahead trench uh, uh pull the rest of the little weeds out go ahead and mulch it if you uh want to know about the uh how to do the trenching and the mulching tune in the details it'll show you how to do the trenching and the mulching all right be right back at you now we got to come over here and prune and cut some ivy back off the wall and pull some weeds 
we gotta prune these bushes right here right here separate them in the middle i going to pull those weeds that's up under there in the leaves pull all these weeds clean all these leaves out and cut all this ivy off the wall all the way back here all right so uh to know about cutting the ivy off of the wall tune in the uh poison ivy that'll show you how to get the uh ivy off the wall and what happens when ivy grows up on the wall all right all right check you later All right, so everything's done. We went ahead, mulch, trench, we cut back the perennials. I hope that tip was useful for you. If you want to do the ivy and the on the wall, like right here when we cut that back, right there, uh, check out the uh, video, uh, Poison Ivy. Um, for the trenching and mulching, check out details. That will uh, help you in the process all right i hope this video was useful for you all right it's time to go get me some hot chocolate because it's a little little nippy out here all right this is raglan coming from next generation landscaping keep persevering by any means necessary and if i don't see you beforehand i want everybody to have a happy holidays all right and if you're not having a great day make it a great day all right people happy holidays to you see you soon